Hello, my beautiful Virgos, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your uh, first part of March energy check-in. Um, so I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Um, if you are new here, welcome in, my loves. My name is Erica. Welcome to Gypsy Cowboy Tarot. I am a psychic medium, oracle, prophetess, um, and we are a high vibe tribe, okay? Uh, Pillar of Light channel. And those of you guys returning, welcome back, my loves. All right, so for Virgo. Virgo. I just got done moving over the weekend so I am in a new space that is very magical and amazing that I love um, it could be resonant for some of you guys I feel like it's like movement moving you could literally be moving um, you got the Hierophant and the Knight of Wands Okay, for some of you guys, there's someone here who's been like, they've been coming in and out of your life and it feels like this is someone who, you know, puts on a persona of, you know, oh yeah, like I could want a commitment with you or I care for you, you know, all this, but it's like they're in and out, they're in and out, you know what I mean? Um... It's something here about like a, a lesson, you know what I mean? Um, you, 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 you standing your ground, standing in your power, okay? Could be dealing with a Taurus energy. That's what I just keep getting. It's the message is, is of discernment, Virgo. So for those of you guys that that part is for, um, it's like really discerning with this person when they come in to your life. Because what I what I get here is like you know the Knight of Wands and, and the Hierophant. It's like they're they're not in a place they're not in a place to to give you that. Okay, so for whoever that's for, that's a confirmation for you. Okay, and then you have the Five of Pentacles out in the cold. So this person might leave you feeling out in the cold. Now this could be you. I don't know, but it feels like someone has comes in and then they leave. They come in, they leave, and they try to promise like they're going to be different or they want you know um, commitment or they're serious this time, but it's not. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles after that. Um. So let me pull on that really quickly for you guys. Mr. Debonair, love bomber, right? But it's also secret admirer energy, Knight of Cups. Knight energies, here, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups. Could be an age difference, I don't know. Younger fire sign, younger water sign, I don't know. I'm just getting that like you're you're very high vibrational and this person is pulling on your energy or they have been pulling on your energy. Um, and it's like something about like, you know, standing your ground, um, with them, ace of cups and then nine of cups, bottom of the deck. This is that overflowing emotion, abundance, it's self love. It's all of that, but it's a new beginning with the ace. And then you have the, the, the nine of cups, which is a card of wish fulfillment, you know, having it all on your own though. You know, feeling emotionally fulfilled on your own, right? So that's where you're at, Virgo. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, you really have come into this place where if this is someone from your past that has been like this, you're like, no more. No, I know my worth and my value now. And no, no more. I am embodying that self-love. So there's something here, 414 on the timestamp. There's something here about... Yeah, see, so you're 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 really in your power. You know, Queen of Wands is that fire energy, fire, fire queen, fire priestess, right? All that kind of stuff. Um, you could be tapping more into like your 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 witchy side or your your priestessy side or working with fire or doing divination with fire. I don't know. T today we have the full moon in Virgo, your your full moon. All right, my loves, right? So um happy, happy full moon to Virgo. <laughs> um, but it's 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 a powerful one, right? Especially right now in March with all of the other energies with, with Saturn and, and, and just things like that going on, right? 
for some of you guys, you're being tested, right? Saturn is the, the, the karmic test, right? It's like about the test, right? Are you going to pass the test? Did you learn the lesson? And the answer is yes for many of you guys. Again, I know my worth and my value. I know my power. I'm standing in my power. You're also activating people around you, Virgo. Um, this is actually a collective message for a lot of people right now that I'm that I'm getting. I'm going to be tuning into, but you guys right here, because of your power, standing in your power, you're showing other people around you that that's okay and how to do that. She's fierce. She knows who she is. She's confident. She walks into a room and every head turns. Okay, and then you have the Seven of Cups right here, which is, you know, um, I'm just getting seeing things very clearly. So this is you seeing things very clearly. Again, it could be about around, yeah, so you're seeing things very clearly around maybe this person or people from, you know, around you, just things like that. You're seeing in general people's, like shady energy let's just say that they're just de they're deceptive energy you're very in tune right now and, and you're becoming more and more and more in tune this person whoever this is it's been it's been like for some of you guys a runner and then you have the star card bottom of the deck For some of you guys, this is this is the past. This person was doing this in the past. And for some of you guys, this person has been actually embodying self-love. They've started learning self-love. For some of you guys, I'm just getting an apology. I feel like for some of you guys, there is an apology coming. Someone wants to explain to you their actions, you know, apologize for their actions. This is wish fulfillment energy, though. I mean, this is miraculous energy, miracles. Whatever you've been wishing for, hoping for, praying for, it's it's here. It's coming in. There's something here also about just like being really authentic. She's very vulnerable in this moment. She's nude. I mean, she's you know showing her 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 whole self. Right. That's very relevant to me. I feel like you guys, you guys have gone through a lot of healing, and you're ready to be vulnerable. You're ready to be open with love. You're ready to pour into someone because you love yourself fully, you know? It's no longer like I'm pouring into someone to make myself, you know, to because I, I need that or, or I want someone to pour into me because that's the only way that I feel good about myself or happy about myself. No, this is um, I water you, you water me, we water each other. That's what this is. So for some of you guys, this person has gone through some healing. Okay, and they and they maybe, you know, come back in and they open up with the Ace of Cups. There's something, you know, opening up and being vulnerable here. Okay. And for some of you guys, you're you're saying no to this person. You know, either way, there's there's like love energy coming in, there's wish fulfillments coming in. The ace of cups is a new beginning. It's an emotional, loving new beginning. That's what I'm getting. The Six of Cups just fell out. Look at that. Past life energy, soulmate energy. Again, there could be a little bit of an age difference. Doesn't It doesn't really matter, right? But it could be a sink for you. Okay. I, I'm getting like, this is like home is where the heart is. This is, this is someone who you have a very deep soul connection with. And then justice is on the bottom of the deck, Libra. It's your karmic justice. It's your good karma. You've been balancing and doing all kinds of stuff. And again, standing in your truth, living authentically, like all of that. And this is your divine reward. This is a blessing. This is a blessing. In fact, we do have the Hierophant. When you, If you've been with me for a while, you'll often hear me talk about the Hierophant when it comes out. Like I'll often say sometimes like, this is, the, this is spirit, this is the divine, or this is right. Coming in and saying, I bless this message. I bless this reading. But this is blessings on their way to you. I'm hearing Alicia Keys, this girl is on fire, right? This girl is on. You could be having a fire ceremony tonight for the full moon. I don't know. Maybe you just like fire. You connect with fire, even though you guys are earthy. It doesn't matter, right? A fire is cleansing. It's purging, purifying, right? There's something purification. You've been going through a purification, Virgo. 
You've been cleansed, initiated, cleansed in, in divine white light. You're being, you're being, you're being blessed. You're being blessed. You're also really helping to transmute and balance energies collectively. Thank you for doing your work and shadow work and healing yourself and showing other people that it's okay to live authentically and it's okay to have boundaries and embody self-love. I'm hearing people call me selfish. Okay, so some of you guys might have some resistance or, you know, people, you know, um, trying to create arguments with you or just trying to trigger you. Okay, but it's because of their own mental, mental stuff. All right, but, but that's what I'm getting. It's like your, your light could be very triggering to people who are in very low dense energies right now. These kinds of energies right? And they're trying to pull you into it. And you're like, no, no. Okay. What I'm getting is it's not all in your mind, Virgo. It's not like these, these people are really doing that. Okay. They're, they're really like that. <laughs> right. And, uh, you're just there to show, to reflect back to them what they need to heal within themselves, which is why they're so triggered by you. Right. Okay. In the same respect, I feel like you, for some of you guys, you showed this to that person as well. You could have triggered this person, which is why they come in and out. Run. Yeah. There's something here about, I want to make this right. Okay. And then for the rest of you guys, if this isn't like a past person, right, coming in, this is a new soulmate, but a very intense past life soulmate. Because people in the past would just come in and out and take your energy and go. And you're like, no more. Now you're receiving your karmic justice. King of Pentacles energy. This is someone solid, very stable, well off, just, just stable in life, right? They, they could, they could, he's the king of wealth, money, right? Material wealth. Um, this is just someone who's, again, very, it could be another earth sign, obviously, but it's very grounded and stable energy. It's some type of, you know, I'm serious about this. I'm serious about you. Really serious. Like, this could be the one you spend your life with. Like this could be marriage, you know, that kind of thing. Justice and the Hierophant. Yeah, there's definitely marriage here. Someone could also be going through a divorce or like a legal separation is what I'm getting. Okay. King of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Woo. Fire and Earth. And then the Hangman. And then the moon. These are things that are about to be revealed to you. This is someone who they've had a perspective shift. They've had enlightenment. This is someone who watches you. I mean, like literally just hanging out and watching you, hanging around, watching you. But what I'm getting here is that the people who are in their like shadowy energies, you're bringing enlightenment. You're showing them different perspectives, period. And that is light work. And that is blessed work. And that will come back to you. Good rewards, good karma. Because you're doing it just by being aligned to your soul and, and your truth. But this is also someone who is hung up, okay? They're watching you or something. Or they're about to be hung up on you if there's a new person, right? But this is all about what's been hidden. Things are being revealed to you. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Look at that. It's the one. You have a lot of fiery like energy here. I mean, I mean, you have like a good mix of everything, but I'm just like, there's a lot. Of, you have the queen of fire and now you have the king of fire and the eight of wands. Look at this. I knew it. Someone very stable. Okay. There's could be other like options too be a couple people coming towards you right like you're hot shit virgo like we all want to we all want to entertain virgo we all want to know virgo it's what you've attracted in it's what you've attracted in look at all of it's passionate communication but all of this like 
fiery, passionate, you know, um, kind of energy. It's just things that you're that that light you up and, and create passion within you. It's all coming in, it's manifestations hitting. But this is like having very passionate, you know, um conversation with someone is what I get. All right. So this is I've met my match. This is your match. Perfect person. And then the ace of swords. <laughs> divine truth, clarity, a breakthrough, Archangel Michael. It's, it's some type of like passionate truth, truthful communication that creates a breakthrough energy between you and this person, for you, whatever it is. But it's divine truth. It's a victory. Again, here you go. It's yours. Your wish fulfillments are coming in. This is miraculous energy, you know. I'm getting expect miracles. Expect miracles. I'm also getting instant manifestation, and that keeps coming up for people um, here and there. So it just shows me that you guys are really rising in your vibration because you're you're manifesting things very quickly, like very quickly. This is manifestations coming in. <laughs> A lot of little orbs flying around here, huh? I love it. If this is your message, my loves, be sure to claim it as yours by liking and subscribing. If you are new here, hit the notification bell. First breath, a beginner's mind, card number 21. You could be starting something or recently started something. We do have like the aces here, which are these like new beginning energies. Um, first breath, 21. Could be someone's birthday, the 21st. But it breaks down to a three. Someone could have been um, dealing with a third party. I am kind of getting that third party inter interference here. But it's the beginner's mind. So you guys are starting new things. You're drawing breath into new projects, creations. Things that are going to bring you much abundance and success. It's also someone who's beginning to... They, they've started beginning to see things differently. Their mind, it's a beginner's mind. They're going, oh, I get it now. The me talks, repairing the body, mind, and spirit, card number 39. Okay, so taking time for yourselves, a me talks. Very important. I feel like some of you guys, if there was like some kind of interference in the past with this person, they, they, they're letting you know, like, I'm, I'm detoxing my life. I've, I've chosen the me talks. The Horseman, card number 30. Herald of Change. And then card number 63, The Winter's Dream, a gestation period. Something has been incubating, baking in the cosmic oven, right? In the cosmic womb. And there's something here now where it's all about freedom and taking chances and, and, and going very quickly and... And, and lots of change. That's what I get. Okay. All right. So let me just go ahead and get. Um, if you guys do want to book a personal psychic session with me or a past life reading, you can find the info down below in the description box. Um, I do also offer a 20 minute event sesh. It's not a reading. I don't pull cards or channel or anything, but it's just like us talking like friends. And you get to vent, share things that maybe you feel like you can't share and talk about. Be willing to forgive and then twin flame. <sighs> Counterparts. You know what I'm also getting, Virgo, is for some of you guys, now it doesn't have to be twin flame, right? Like I feel like for some of you guys, because you have the six of cups, you're, you're, you're coming into union or meeting a very intense, sorry guys, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I'll just give you the bird. Um, a very intense past life meeting with someone here. Okay, it's what you're attracting in. It's lots of change. It's, like I said, been incubating, but this could also be something that, right, from the past, it's been doing that as well. And that's why there's forgiveness here. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness. You know, with this full moon, that's clearing, that's clearing work. Okay, this could be like something that you affirm to yourself during this time. Twin flame, the answer to your question involves a spiritually based romantic relationship. There it is. Yep. 
I, I got that very heavily here with the Hierophant in the very beginning. There's something very spiritual about your energy, your, 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 you know, what's around you at this time. And then also, you know, the, the love frequency of, of what you're connecting to or, or going to be connecting to. It's the real deal. And now I'm getting, you waited long enough. You waited long enough, but really what had to happen was you guys just had to do your own work, right? So now you're in this place of receiving and, you know, you're powerful and that's exactly what you're getting, okay? So I love you guys. I thank you guys and I will see you soon. Mwah.